Hello guys, today we're going to be talking about the Reds third round draft pick, which is the outfielder Brandon Sp Spillane, I think it is, I don't know exactly how to say it, um, sorry if I butchered that and you're listening to this, okay, so here's the analysis on him, he seems to have some unfinished business with, you, with development, um, he seems to have had a lot of injuries. Um, I believe his freshman year in the Fighting Illini, which that's where he was drafted out of, the college Illinois, University of Illinois, however you want to say it. He came into freshman year with a concussion. And then his sophomore year, he seems to have actually injured his ankle with um, in the spring of that year, too. So, um, he seems to have a bit of an injury bug so far, but if he can get past that and, like, not get injured as much, he seems to be pretty, um, promisable. Um, okay, so, I do kind of give him a pass because he does seem to get, um, beside a lot of the, um, problems that he's had. Um, but you gotta kind of feel bad for this dude because he lost his father to colon cancer to colon cancer when he was in high school. Okay, so yes, he did grow up with his father, but in high school, dude, that's a bit young. He lost his father at 53 years old to colon cancer. You don't see that every day. Okay, so let's get into his, um, his, um, you know, his physical, like, stats here. Not like his, like, baseball stats, but his, like, height and weight, all that stuff. Okay, so he was he graduated in 2019. Okay, so his position is the outfield. He was with the West Coast Black Dogs for his um for his uh high school days, I believe. Or something like that. I don't know. Um and his height is 5'11". That's sort of small being that the United States average is six foot two. His weight, however, is 170 pounds. Okay, so his swing looks good, um, except for one minor detail. Not to be overcritical, but he seems to have a lot of power built in with him. Um, and he's small, so he probably has a lot of speed too, but he seems to also have a lot of power. Um, by the, like, um, crack of the bat, it sounds like he has a lot of that power. Um, and, okay, so, getting into a swing, I'm kind of worried about his ability to hit the fastball as well. He has good contact, at least in his high school days he did, um, but his, he has, like, a big swing. He needs to shorten up, he needs to shorten up that swing to be able to get that bar barrel onto the fastballs, and... Um, his defensive fielding is just phenomenal from what it looks like in his prospect video. Um, he looks to have a good, 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 um, good fielding mechanics. His arm looks great. Um, not too terribly good. Like, no, like, outstanding. Not outstanding, but seems to have a pretty decent arm. Um, he... If you develop right, he can be a start on all ends of the field. Defense, offense, you name it, he could be, be doing it. He could have, like, the speed of Billy Hamilton and um, the power of Babe Ruth if you develop him right. Um, this guy probably should have gone a bit um, sooner based on what I saw from his prospect video. Um... He looks to be a good pick overall by the Cincinnati Reds. Um, I'm not sure they have much need for him right now because they have a good system. Um, just in their major leagues alone, they have a Jesse Winker and Billy Hampton who bring that amazing amount of speed. And they have Philip Irvin in um, AAA that has a lot of power. And they um, also have Adam Duvall and Scott Shibler that both have um, some decent amounts of power. Um, so this dude, um, he may have a little bit more time to progress 
while those guys get in and before they retire or get traded or get let go. Um, so, it, and so that could be a plus for him. That could like definitely be a plus because he would have more time to develop. And that's not counting like people like H- Jose Siri, which based on his hang streak last year, looks like an amazing guy to have on your team. Um, uh, let's see. So who else do they have? Just give me a second here. MLB.com. Okay, I'm going to look at the Reds prospect pipeline thing. Do, 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 do. Okay, so teams. Cincinnati. Cincinnati. Um, explain. Okay, great. Okay, here we go. The Reds' top 30 prospects. I'm going to tell you everything they have in their minor leagues right now. They have in the outfield. They have Taylor Trammell. We already went along with that one. Um, they have Stuart Fairchild, Arquez Aquado. Um, let's see. So they have T.J. Friedel. They have outfield and first baseman Nick Longke. I don't know if I'm butchering that, but like, sorry if I did butcher that. He's he looks to be in AAA. Um. So they have um, Miles Gordon and Michael Beltre, and that's that's all. That's just in the minor leagues, like some of the top. That's just in the minor leagues alone. That's the top prospects. So, and those are some pretty good prospects if you look at them. So I don't know, like he'll have more of an opportunity to develop down there if all those guys like do make it up before him. I mean, don't get me wrong, like. I encourage you taking your time, especially with development. It's just you don't know if you can take your time with this guy. Um, he might be a diamond in the rough or some kind of you know person like that. Um, I really like this pick by the Reds. He looks to be a good, but we're kind of loaded up at well, outfield, outfield. So we, I don't know if we're actually gonna have like time to develop him. To develop him, him enough to like keep him in the minor, to, to keep him in the major leagues, because we do have like in that prospect. Um. And um, this dude um, he looks to be good, but like I said, we're kind of like overbeared at that um position. What's up? Outfielder. hundred prospects. Nope. Okay. So, like, the Reds, like, kind of are over or buried a bit from that. And, um, uh, I'm sure you could teach people, like, um, Shed Long or Jeter Downs or... Uh, um, Jose Israel Garcia to play outfield as well if you need them to. Alfredo Rodriguez, um, Nick Senzel, like those kinds of guys. Like, you could probably teach them to play it. So, like, you have a bunch of options that you can do. Um, so this guy, he might be a waste of good talent. But I love the pick here. Um, I do believe that the Reds like will probably find a way to bring this guy up. Um, and like I said at the beginning, if he can get past the injuries, he can definitely be a good prospect. Um, really, all the minor leagues need to do with him right now is just get him past the injuries. Maybe add a little bit more power. Maybe a little bit more speed. 
I mean, a little bit more arm strength and arm accuracy and all that. Like, li those little things that can make him, like, the perfect player. But if they can do that, he is sure to be an amazing prospect and sure to have a successful career. Okay, with that being said, um, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. If you do subscribe to the channel, please leave a like on it and subscribe. Um, wait, if you do subscribe to the channel, sorry, got lost there. If you do subscribe, please turn the bell so that you, um, get notified every time we post. And, um, that's pretty much all. See you next time.